I want to dedicate this video to my friend Rafa Carmona, who has prepared this marvel for me to explain how a four-way valve works. To begin, you need to know how it is connected. The tube that is alone always goes to the compressor discharge. The middle one is always the compressor suction. And depending on how we have it configured, we will go to the indoor unit or the outdoor unit, defining who will be the condenser unit, because the four-way valve actually inverts the operation cycle. How do we achieve it? We accomplish this by utilizing the solenoid mechanism. Through this solenoid, we give instructions to the valve, directing it to transmit the high pressure either to this specific location or to that specific location. This allows us to control the movement of the slider. When we open it, if we direct the high pressure to this location, the slider moves accordingly. Similarly, if we send the high pressure to that location, the slider also moves in response to the applied pressure. What do we achieve? High pressure, compressor discharge. If we are in this position, it will come here to what we estimate as the indoor unit, outdoor unit, which will be the condenser. Starting from this location, the flow will continue towards the evaporator expansion valve. It will then pass through this point, and if we observe this particular component, we can see that it has a circular shape. Therefore, if we have previously mentioned a high pressure condition in relation to the condenser and expansion valve, we are referring to the path that originates from the evaporator. By considering its shape, we ensure that it travels in the direction indicated and eventually reaches the compressor suction. This completes the journey of the flow as it moves through the different components of the system following a specific route and fulfilling its intended purpose. If the slide has moved in this direction, the discharge from the compressor will be directed to this unit. Whichever component it comes into contact with will then go to the expansion valve and pass through the evaporator, following this path. It will eventually return to the compressor suction, whereby the high pressure indicates the current operating mode I am working in. The slide is what will redirect the flow. Thank you, Raphael, for your assistance and guidance throughout this process. I truly appreciate your expertise and support.